back YouTube. It's Coach Lewis Cabrera here, and I'm here with Professor Andrew. Um, I know it's been a while, guys. Um, as you guys can see, we're in a new location. Um, so we're gonna put out a new video soon, just with a tour, uh, but we first have to lay down some mats, lay down some wall mats and things like that. Uh, we wanted to go over our back retention drills for you guys. Um, so before we get started though, this video is brought to you by Nation Athletics, Jiu Jitsu Lifestyle Apparel. So give them, uh, go ahead and check them out. I have the link in the description for you, all right? Before we start, right, let's talk about the back controls here. So as my partner uh, is gonna begin his escape, all right, there's one major goal that he has to do. They wanna be able to rotate their shoulders and hips from side to side. So as long as I can maintain control and keep my, par my partner from rotating side to side, I'm always gonna have good control of the back. Our back retention drills are composed of three drills primarily. All right, so let's take a look. I have both my hooks, I have my seat belt, and I'm gonna fall to the side here, okay? So now typically, my partner is going to begin his escape by turning his belly button up to the sky and turning his hips. So as you can see, my hook, uh, I'm getting a weak uh, hook here, okay? So before I lose this hook and my partner begins to step over, I'm going to use a, a recovery drill here, okay? So as soon as I see this hook being weakened, that it's not as strong, I'm going to take my far hook here and I'm going to reach all the way across the legs, getting a far hook. I'm going to point my toes to the ground and I'm gonna make sure I have a nice tight seat belt and I'm gonna use uh, my foot that's on the floor here to scoop my hips under my partner and then bring them over to the other side and then I can reclaim my hook here, right? Okay? So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, all right? So he goes to turn his hips. I'm, I feel that I'm losing the hook. I reach for a far hook. I put my toes on the mat, I squeeze my seat belt and I drag my hips under my partner, bringing him back over to this side. So that's the first scenario. A second scenario that can happen here is that they actually beat this bottom hook and they step over, okay? When they step over, his weight is too far off on this side for me to bring him all the way to the other side, okay? So what I'm gonna do here, again, still, I'm gonna reach for an outside, uh, a far hook here, a long hook. I squeeze my seatbelt and I'm gonna build up to a knee, all right? So I retract my elbow, my uh, back leg here, I'm gonna build up to a knee and I'm gonna build my ramp. Now from here, I'm gonna sit and bring my partner all the way to the other side and regain my hook. Okay. So, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So he goes, he beats my bottom hook here. So my top hook reaches across for a long hook. I clench, squeeze my seatbelt, build up to a knee, build my ramp, and then sit my partner all the way back down to this side here. Lastly, uh, the last drill that I like to do here, um, my partner is gonna go ahead and clear this bottom hook and the top hook, and they're gonna force the turtle really fast, okay? So sometimes we might get caught here and we might fall over and they drive all their weight, okay? And we lose the back. So this is a good way where we can stay attached to a partner and the drill uh, is pretty fun here. So we attach ourselves, we fall, he clears both hooks. As he goes to turtle, I follow, okay? I reach all the way over with my leg and my goal is to get my knee into this pocket here like this. Now my far leg catches the hip. I bring them over, I regain my hook, continue the roll for my second hook, okay? Let's do it again on this side here. Seat belt, so he clears both hooks. I follow, stick the knee in the pocket, catch, hook, and then hook, okay? The way that I like to do this drill is I do one on each side, uh, all three drills without letting go of the seat belt for three minutes, okay? So the seat belt's the most important. You don't let go at all. So this is what it looks like. You guys set the timer, three minute goes, one person is attached to the back without letting go of the seat belt. One side, he starts to clear, bring him over. Bring him over. This time they hop over the hook, build your ramp, on this side, build your ramp, and the third one, you follow, catch, follow, and catch. Also, these drills have helped me immensely, okay? They've increased my submission percentage by a whole lot simply because I'm able to control the back a lot more. So I want you guys to give it a try. 
Let me know in the comment section, see how these worked out for you. And if you guys have any back drills that you think helped you out a lot, I want you to leave that in the comment section too. I wanna to know about it. Cool? Last thing, um, we are starting a Patreon, all right? So we're gonna have exclusive videos on the Patreon. So go ahead and check that out. The link is gonna be in the description and we're still gonna be releasing uh, videos on YouTube here, okay? So the Patreon videos are gonna be, uh, they're gonna have access first. They're gonna have exclusive videos on Patreon. And we're also gonna have questions and answers and a whole bunch of other things that we're gonna add here. So I'll keep you guys posted. All right, so again, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys later. All right, for those of you guys returning, mm, you get one of those and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.